Hey, welcome to Cocktail Buzz. Today's the last day of summer and we're going to go out with a bang. We're going to make margaritas. But first, Paul's going to show us how to make the perfect appetizer to go with the margaritas. Guacamole, coming up next. Hey, I'm Paul Zablocki and today I'm going to show you how to make two things. I'm going to teach you how to make tortilla chips for a delicious and simple guacamole. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, store-bought uh, corn tortilla chips, which I have right here, and these are the small ones. Um, they're perfect for enchiladas, but today we're going to make them, uh, we're going to make uh, nachos. And all I'm going to do is take four of them, they're about six inches in diameter, and I'm going to take a pizza cutter, and I'm going to cut them into sixths. Now that I got the chips spread out, I'm going to spray them with olive oil. Give a light coating to the chips. Then I'm just going to lightly salt. You could salt it any way you want. You could use whatever kind of salt you want. This is sea salt. Now I'm going to put those in the oven at about 400 degrees and I'm going to check on them every couple minutes to see uh, when they get golden brown. I'm going to make some guacamole. The first thing uh, you want is a very ripe avocado. If it's not ripe enough, it's just not going to taste right and if it's too ripe, it's going to be a little bit too smoky. And then I'm just going to twist and break it in half and as you can see, it's that really pale, pale yellow-green color on the middle, and on the outside, it's a darker green, a really vibrant green. It's perfect, actually. To get the pit out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the knife, and I'm just going to go, I'm going to whack it, kind of turn it a little bit, and yank it out. Okay, that one pulled out a little bit of avocado, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to, into a bowl, peel it. Toss the skin to the avocado, but make sure you save the pit because it's going to help keep the uh, avocado fresh once the guacamole is made. I'll show you that in just a little bit. But I'm going to use also, for a little bit of heat, I'm going to use uh, one clove of garlic and then one shallot bulb. I'm just going to chop that up and throw it into the mix right here. This is a great little contraption. It's a piece of rubber and you stick a garlic clove in it. You just rub it and it gets the skin off quite easily. And I'm going to use a garlic press and I'm going to shoot it right on into the mix. I'm going to now put the chopped shallot into the mix as well. The next thing you're going to do is put in the real heat. And here we've got some uh, Pedro Lopez chili powder. It's our favorite chili powder. If you don't use chili powder, you can of course use a jalapeno. But make sure you take most of the seeds out. I'm going to use a teaspoon. And now I'm going to add some pepper and some salt. Don't forget to add a squeeze of lemon or lime juice. So your goal is to just incorporate all the ingredients. You don't want to get it too smooth because then it'll just be like porridge. You don't want to keep it too chunky. I'm just going to mash everything up. And now it's time for the final step. Cilantro, which adds a very special pow to the guacamole. It tastes like nothing else and it's perfect. I just washed it. It was very sandy. And I'm just going to pull the stems from it. You could keep the stems on, it's fine. I prefer not to have the stems, that's just a personal preference. This is a mezzaluna. All you do is hold it with both hands and rock back and forth. And it really chops your herbs up nicely. And incorporate it a little bit. Perfect. We have guacamole. Now I'm going to pull those chips out of the oven because they should be ready. They've been in there for about 10 minutes. Yeah. 
very crispy, very golden. Lightly salted, perfect. Hola, me llamo Steve Schul, and today we're making margaritas. Probably our second favorite drink, and the one that I go back to again and again. The key to a good margarita is fresh lime. So just make sure that it's nice and green like that. And the next thing you want to do is ask your guests if they prefer salt or not. Now, Paul and I both like salt, and so what you need to do for that is slice some lime and just rub it along the edge. Try to keep it more on the edge just because you want the salt on the edge of the drink and not necessarily in the drink. And then dip and twist. Grab your shaker and fill it with ice. And time to squeeze the lime juice. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. These are amazing. They squeeze the limes and get everything out of it so easily. And you can put it right into your uh, measuring cup. So it generally takes about one lime per margarita. And for our margaritas, we use a 3 to 1 ratio. So it's one part lime juice, two parts of an orange liqueur, like Cointreau or a triple sec, and three parts of tequila. So we like to use a combination of Cointreau and triple sec. I think of all Cointreau is a little too sweet, so I like to cut it with some triple sec, but it's a personal preference. Play around and see what you like. Cap it and shake. It's ready as soon as it's frosty. I think we're there. There are three types of tequila you can use. Silver, Grape Posado, or Añejo. The silver is unaged, clean, and great for mixing. The Grape Posado is aged slightly, and the Añejo is more a on the rocks or neat sort of a drink. We prefer the, uh, either the silver or the reposado in our drinks, and we actually go back and forth between the two. So I think it's time for a, uh, a cheer. Hey, Paul. Una margarita deliciosa. Excellent. I got the chips and the guacamole right here. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Ah, perfecto. Oh, gracias. Oh, gracias. Mm. oh, this is so good. You know, it's the cilantro. So I told you to save the pit. If you make the guacamole early, what you're going to want to do is stick the pit right in the center of the guacamole and then cover it with some saran wrap to keep it fresh before you put it in the fridge. That way it won't turn brown.